What is up guys, Poison here, and today I have a video on the best loadouts on Quattro Kalinas for dummies. I will be showing you guys two loadouts today, my preferred loadout and an alt one for all you bow hunters out there. We also will be discussing the 6.5 in comparison to the 30 odd 6 and which one is the better overall gun to use on this beautiful new map. So let's start with the loadout and we will move on from there. Okay guys, so this is going to be my preferred loadout on Quattro Kalinas. I'm using the Mosin for Roe Deer, then we have the 30 odd 6 for all the Ibex species, Mouflon Sheep, Piggies, Red Deer, and Iberian Wolves. Next is the 454 Rhino for close encounter with the Wolves, which tends to happen quite a lot on this reserve. And then finally we have the 22 Express for the Hares. Now on to Collars, we have the Roe Deer Collar, Wild Boar Collar, Red Deer Collar, and finally the Stressed Fawn Collar for the Iberian Wolves. And just a little bit of heads up, uh, most of you guys will probably know this by now, but just in case you are not aware, there are no colors for the Ibex species or Mouflon sheep, which makes knowing the feeding, resting, and drinking time so important for those species. Just a bit of a side note. Now you guys also may have noticed that I'm not using the new gun, the 6.5, and instead I'm using the 30 odd 6 but there is a good reason for this. This gun is just incredible on this reserve. It kills majority of all species. The 6.5 does work well on Ibex and Sheep, but it has a hard time on Wolves and Red Deer, and especially when going for double lung on Red Deer, which I will be demonstrating in just a bit. So now that I showed you my preferred loadout, I'll be showing you my loadout for when I want to do a little bit of bow hunting on Quattro Kalinas. Okay, so this is going to be my alt weapon loadout for when I want to carry a bow with me. So the variation in this loadout is I'm going to be switching out the 30 odd 6 for the 6.5, the 22 rifle for the 22 pistol, and finally the 454 rhino for the bow. Now the reason I'm switching out the 30 odd 6 for the 6.5 in this loadout is the 30 odd 6 is too heavy for this loadout and would require me to wear a backpack and I really don't want to be doing that. Also with this loadout, it allows you to use the new rangefinder bow sight and still be under the 20 kilogram weight limit. Now for the collars, they're all going to be exactly the same as the original loadout because there's really no reason to change them. They all fit perfectly in there. So that's what we're going to stick with. So now that we took care of the loadouts, the two that I do use most often, we're going to be going to a live hunt and first I'm going to be showing off the 6.5 and what it's like to hunt a red deer with it. Now, I'm first gonna be showing uh, taking a heart shot on a red deer, which does work really well. So if you wanna go for the heart or brain, it will work uh, perfectly fine. But then I'm also gonna show you uh, trying to take a double long on a red deer. And then from there, we're gonna switch to the 30 odd six and show you how well this gun does work. And let me tell you guys, it's phenomenal. So let's go to the live hunt and uh, see what happens. Alright, so I heard a red deer calling down here, so we're going to shoot a couple calls out and try to get this guy to come in towards us. But I know right now is red deer drinking time, so he should definitely be coming in. He's not too far. He's right below that hill line down there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I see the antlers right there. We got one coming in. And he's going to be at level 6. So, we're going to wait and see if he comes in, because I do want to go for that heart shot. Yeah, he's coming in right at us. So again, we're using the 6.5. This is what we're trying out here. So we're going to be going for a heart shot here. Look at that, smooth as butter. So we got another red deer running off there that I'm going to be using the 6.5. I think we're going to run up on him, and we're going to try to do a double lung. So let's pick it up when we get closer to him. Okay, so we're hiding right next to a tree, and we're going to shoot out two calls. We saw the red deer run up here, so this one we're going to be trying to do a double long if we can get him to come back in. So I think that's him, right dead east. That, yep, that's him. You can see the antlers on him. So right now he's hiding behind some bushes. Let's see his size. He's a uh, six. So we're going to wait for him to go fully broadside because I definitely want to get uh, a full double lung on him with the 6.5 to show this gun off. Okay, there we go. Ooh, perfect shot. That's definitely going to be double lung. 
And as you can see as he's running away, it's 50, 25. We're definitely going to be losing some quick kill on this red deer. Now, I'm pretty sure we were within 75 meters, so he should have dropped very quickly. And that's showing off the difference between the 30 odd 6 and the 6.5. The 30 odd 6 would have made a uh, quick work of that guy. So we can see we got a vital hit. Let's follow the tracks. And once again, guys, the 30 odd 6, this is why I prefer to use it, because you can use it on all these species and get full integrity and full quick kill, no problem. So let's follow this guy out. I mean, he didn't get too far, but I'm sure we definitely lost some quick kill on him. Okay, I see him right up ahead here. Let's see what he is. Okay, so, yep, see, we lost, uh, we lost some quick alone. We got 61%, and we definitely got a double long, and that's within 63.3 meters. So the 30-06 would have had no problem dropping this guy, and this is more or less what I was talking about, the 6.5. So if you're using the 6.5, go for the brain or heart. Do not go for the double long. All right, so now we're going to be switching to using the 30-06. Uh, we're going to change locations here. And we're spawning uh, 385 for a southeastern uh, Spanish Ibex. We're going to see if we can take him out. And once again, this is the 30 odd 6. Let's see what we can get done here. And look at that. Basically, an instant drop. Perfect. So let's move down a little further, see if we can get another long range shot. Okay, so we're running down a little further. Let's see if we can find anything down here. I think we got another southeastern ibex down here. About 419, maybe 413. Getting a little close here. So about 413. Let's see if we can hit him. We're right on the render distance. Let's see here. So where do you go? It's over here. Gonna shoot a little high. Got him. The 50? Oh, he's definitely going down. He's so far out, he went out of render distance. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to pick these two guys up and see what we got from that distance. So both of them were 300 plus meters out, and this was with the 30-odd 6. Okay, so we're running up on the first southeastern ibex we shot. And this is the one that dropped instantly, so the first one we shot. And let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got flesh, left lung, liver, right lung, and it was at 380.3 meters, and a 100% quick kill. He dropped instantly, and he's a 914. So that was a beautiful shot. I don't know if you'd be able to do that with the 6.5. Maybe you could, but why bother when you have the 30-odd 6? Just saying. Okay, let's find the second guy, and once we find him, we'll see what he was as well. Okay, so it took me a little while to find his tracks, but we finally did find him. So we hit him right here. He ran off a little bit. So it definitely wasn't an instant drop, but it was pretty, pretty damn close. Okay, so we got this guy from 413 meters, right almost at render distance. We got him with just scapula and right lung. So a single lung. So we went through the scapula and hit right lung. And we still got 100% quick kill with the 30 odd 6. You can't beat that. Alright guys, that's going to be my guide on my best loadouts in Quattro Kalines, and also my opinion on using the 30 odd 6 compared to the 6.5. Now obviously things might change down the road as far as buffs and nerfs are concerned, but so far in the first week of the reserves release, you cannot beat the 30 odd 6 when it comes to overall usefulness. So guys, I hope you found this video useful and enjoyable. If you did, please think about hitting that like button and or subscribe, and hey, also hit that bell notification to keep up with all of my new Call of the Wild content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and happy hunting.